ladies. What do you mean? This is the ladies and the gentlemen's den. It's just the gentlemen's den. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. Kittens oh, of all types. <laughs> Meow, see? Choo-choo. Oh, is that your machine gun? Choo-choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo-choo. 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 <laughs> Meow, meow. Okay, you've been fed. It's time to go away now. Daddy's doing a show. Daddy and Mommy are going to do a show with Uncle Sean, okay? So what you're going to have to do is I just fuck off. Look at her little tongue. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean here. After a wonderful week's hiatus because of our wonderful Steve Otis videos. Thank you all for watching those. We are back. Episode 100. 100. Jeff and I have talked about this since the beginning. Like, holy shit, we, if we hit 100 episodes, that's wild. It's wild. It's here. I can't believe it's here. 100 of these. Fuck yeah. I got to hang out with you guys for 100 times. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jeff, you got to hang out with Jeff well, a hundred times. You, you've got, you were at the house. You were on a couple of them. I wasn't always home, though. Yeah, but you were there. Oh, you were yeah, in spirit. I guess so. Jeff's letting freedom ring. You know it. <laughs> I want to look like one of those cool dune buggies. <laughs> 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 they got, like, the light sticks. Uh-huh. Those side-by-sides are fucking awesome. They are. But oh. god damn, are they expensive? Yeah, uh, twenty six thousand dollars for a toy doesn't. That's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> those motherfucking four doors are like forty thousand dollars for those can ams. You just gotta find somebody that's selling one. Yeah, you gotta find someone who was like, dude, these things are dope. Let's buy one, and then they never use it, and then they sell it. Right. And then you—that's when you strike. You gotta look for the divorced couples. Yeah. Yes. Where the guys try to get rid of all of everything before the wife takes everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's What was that uh, that famous uh there's like a story about the guy he's like fuck fuck Tinder. He's like you guys you guys are rookies. He's like what you do is you go on Facebook Marketplace and you look at women who are selling their wedding dresses. They're recently divorced and you know their size. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's not always true, sir. Really? Think well, about it. What if they got married 15 years ago? That, well, if she still got well, the dress in the tell. closet from 15 years. Well, like, I'm going to keep mine forever. I feel like they do well, keep wedding dresses forever, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that, yeah. You got a point, though, with the size thing, because if they've been married for 15 years, there's a reason why they're getting divorced. So that she might be uh, lining, <laughs> up, <laughs> lining, up, lining up for the Packers. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard to stay fit in Wisconsin. There's just so much cheese and food. Everything's deep fried. What was it? What so did we good. just had? Cream pie. You just had a cre- your first cream pie last night. <laughs> cream puff. It's a cream puff. Um, <laughs> no, I made that mistake on the way there. Yeah, she did. I was talking about it, and I was like, "Yeah, I've never, uh, I've never had a cream pie before." And then I was, I was like, like, "I don't." <laughs> That's what it's called. You have kids, so yes, you have. <laughs> uh, I was like, "Yeah, it's a cream puff. It's a cream puff." I'd never had one before either. It's a basically we described it as what, it's a funnel cake with like whipped cream in the middle. Yeah, it's like a funnel cake with another funnel did, cake. Did someone bring you the cream pie, or did you? Yeah, or cream <laughs> puff. <laughs> Fuck, you yeah, guys they got just me. Brought it. In no, the turkey baster. No, but, and then no, but just... Just... yeah, yeah. Um, so Jess and her mom went to went to the fair. Yeah. The problem I had with them, they always leave like a weird film on the top of your mouth from all the butter that's I... in the. So what is it exactly? Because it's okay, a puff so they... pastry. It's not a deep. It's a not deep fried funnel cake shaped differently with. Cream on it's, the inside. it's basically like a puff pastry with a, a overabundance of cream in it. Yes. But what's the cream? Whipped cream. Like a. It tastes like whipped cream. It's like I a. I don't know if it is. A, a, it's like a sweet cream. But it's like a it butter was also cream, like, did, 
Was it refrigerated or did they just have it on? Because it like it needs to it was go like in the fridge, cold. Yeah. It tasted cold. Yeah, it, it, when so you, it had to be. Right? It's whipped cream. Then. Like when you get them at the fair, they're kind of warm. Yeah, with the cold cream. But I liked it because it kind of was like an ice creamish. Yeah, so it has. It's to almost be, like a custard. It's got to be whipped cream because it has to be refrigerated. So that it, would be whipped cream. It might have a little butter in it too, though, because like I said, it leaves a film on the roof of my mouth. I don't. Yeah, it was really good. Oh yeah, they're. But it was it funny. Was fire. So much. So I was like, so it looks like a funnel cake, and somebody's like, it's not a funnel cake. They're not the same thing. I was like, well, I know it's not shaped the same. But it's, and they're like, no, yes, funnel cakes a, are deep this fried. This is an ultra Wisconsin podcast right now. <laughs> well, if you, yeah, state just look fair up the state on. fair and just look deep fried Oreos, deep fried Twinkies, deep fried bacon. Deep fried raviolis. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Anything so you can good. think of. The deep, deep fried lasagna fried. rolls are, oh. the, uh, are bangers. Ooh, those are bangers. I Those will. Are I will so say. Good. See, that's why. What, what, that's why we can't be. Should we start? It. Should we end this and uh, go eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, and we had um, butter beer. Butter beer. That's what you tried last night. Oh, what butter it's beer? Let's go. I don't remember trying the butter beer. Yes, you did. You're, I it, there's a butter. She it made, was the butterscotch. That's stuff. okay. It's called butter beer. That was phenomenal. It's not beer at all. It it's was like a butterscotch carbonated butterscotch smoothie. It was yeah. like a root beer float, but butterscotch. Flavor. If you were to put ice cream in that, oh my god, nice. coming, nice. Because I got all excited. I was like, oh, I was like, that, what kind of? Because she's like, it's butter beer, and I'm you like, like, what it? is that? And it was too butterscotchy. I think she just ended up giving me her, the rest of hers. Yeah, it was good, but it's not beer at all. I was just going. It's too distracting. No, 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 you're good. You sure? I'm looking you dead in your eyes, baby boy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'm Careful not. now. Careful easy. now. Easy. Take it easy. We might end this early. Oh <laughs> Take God. our pants off. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kayla's out. It'll just be us. I'll Sword be fighting like the old days. <laughs> oh. so, so I have my Deadpool Wolverine cup because uh, we're not going to do any spoilers, and my lady hasn't seen it yet, but if you have not seen it, oh, my God. I actually just went and saw it again. It was so good. Like, I legit, like, can't stop, like, thinking about it and, like, how good it was. You you definitely need to see it more than once well, because, like, because there's so many, like, little Easter eggs in it, like, mm-hmm. that I caught the second time that I didn't catch the first time. Yeah, you kind of look at stuff in the background and all that kind of stuff. So. Don't spoil anything. I'm trying not to, but you know the story about in the second one, the Celine Dion song. Mm-hmm. Did you see the video of Reynolds dressed as Deadpool saying, hey, Celine, you got to do it this way. She's yeah. like, I only go 100% all the time. This goes to 11. Yeah. And then he said something about bye, bye, bye. Well, he said, next time I'm getting in sync. Or I should have gotten in sync. Yeah. yeah. He got in sync. Sorry. Oh. I, 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 it's okay. I said it was... Um, it's in my top three of opening movie scenes. I said Blade. Was it Belly? And yeah. And it might be... There was one more I said, but maybe top five. It's. It has to be a good movie because our moms loved it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's legitimately one of those movies where it's like, wow. Like, I haven't left a, a theater scene, like a Mar- especially a Marvel movie. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> holy shit, that was... Like top like notch good. all the way through. But it's not surprising to me because like I loved the Deadpool movies. There's not a lull. That's what I was saying. Like mm-hmm. when you and BJ and I were talking about it. There's not a lull in the movie. Like in in like Endgame, you could get up and go take a piss and you don't miss anything. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue and yeah. kind of the story. I mean, there was in this, but it was it was a great flow to the movie. We just watched uh, the new Ghostbusters, Frozen. Empire, and whatever, asleep. and I was so bored. There's like an action scene in the beginning, and then it's just like legit story all the way to the mm-hmm. end. And then the villain was not that great. I yeah, I, it yeah. was. I, I haven't asleep. watched it, and I and it really it's when I look at movies like that, you got to have like something grab me, and nothing in the previews of that movie grabbed me. 
Like, yeah, ooh, seeing Bill Murray and seeing, you know, Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. It was like, ooh, man, it's maybe maybe I should watch it. It was super underwhelming. I, I went to play it, and then, like, the next movie over on Netflix was, like, fucking Tommy Boy or something. It's like, yeah, I'll watch <laughs> yeah, that, that instead. One. Yeah, I really wanted to watch it. I was super pumped for it, and I, I was disappointed. So. I do have a movie that I really enjoy right now. It's called uh, Snack Shack. It's an independent film. Oh yeah, you were telling me. you showed me the preview for that, and it's it's good. I I I enjoy. It. It's one of those movies that I've watched now like three times. I think just because I if I like watching movies multiple times, not just because it's like oh this is a really good movie. It's just I miss certain stuff. Mm-hmm. Like this thing right here is a fucking asshole. I gotta like put it away. Yeah, because you'll be on your phone while the movie's going. Yeah. So, and that's a movie that I don't pick up my phone when I watch it. I've been doing that. I've been watching that. Uh, uh, if you're into football, Netflix came out with this show, Quarterbacks, last year. And that the was Receivers really was really good. Yeah, I've been watching that. But then I got my phone, and then I'm like, oh, I kind of pop up. Oh, something's. Uh, yeah, I just, I had to put it down you're and just focus on that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if it doesn't grab me, it doesn't. I'm just right. I'm bored, and so, I gotta gotta do something. I know you were in the pool all day, so you missed the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and watch all that because I seen clips of the bro Mongo. Bro, I cried. Yeah, I, like I'm such a fucking bear fan, and I and when you see dudes that he's got uh, tell Kayla, she doesn't know who that he's is. He's got ALS. Yeah, okay. so. Steve McMichael. He was a, oh. a great Chicago Bear yeah, for a long he, time. He's, he was on the 85 Bears team. He was He's one of the best defensive tackles ever to play, and no one really talks about him. Dude had 92 sacks. Well, then it's hard. That team was stacked, so it's like he kind of got, if he was. He's the seventh Hall of Famer off that team. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Yeah. It's Walter Payton and defense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they. And seeing Steve, because Steve ended up, after he retired, ended up becoming a professional wrestler for WCW. And the dude is, like, ultra charismatic, always has, like, great lines. And to see him not be able to talk. Yeah, his personality mm-hmm. was just larger than yeah. life. It yeah, was. And it's, when you see. when you see it just came out of me. <laughs> that was a weird sound. <laughs> but when you see a guy that was so just. Larger than life. Yes. And he's just a husk. Yeah, and this is, uh, yeah, very emotional. I just saw a highlight of it. Uh, I didn't even have the sound on, but, I, yeah, I saw him in his hospital bed, and they unveiled the statue. That was pretty fucking cool. Three, Rich. three, technically three bears went in this year. Yeah, Peppers, Hester, and, and Mongo. Mm-hmm. And Hester's speech was really good. I want to watch that, yeah. And Peppers was hilarious. and But, like, Dwight Freeney. Was great. I didn't even know who else went in. So it was Dwight Freeney, a guy from the Orange Crush defense from Denver. I can't think of his name right now. Peppers, Hester, uh, Andre Johnson. Oh, the wide receiver? Wide receiver okay. from the Texans. First Texan in the Hall of Fame. Oh, no shit. Wow. And uh, Peppers is technically the first uh, Panther. Panther. Oh, sweet. But when you – I was talking about – this was one of my friends and it was when you see these guys that gave their all to something Mm -hmm. and they, you know, they apologize to their families. Like I wasn't there all the time. You know, I'm sorry. Like, especially guys that have older children, like peppers and Freeney and Devin all had kids that after basically after their career was over. So they were, you know, it was all, they were family guys, you know. Yeah, these guys got. Both. Well, I know Hester too. He could have played a couple more years, but his kid was getting into football, so he yeah. like basically retired to like coach his kids and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And you you see the struggle of these dudes that you know a lot of them single mom raised them, you know. Yeah. Oh, Patrick Willis too was the other one. Okay. And his and Patrick Willis was a guy too that. He played nine years. But when we were growing up, Patrick Willis was <laughs> Superman, dude. 
when you see he's Patrick Will- going to hate this podcast pretty soon because well, the Bears are about to be on hard knocks and she is she's not the football loving. Type. But but it's I don't I, hate football. I just like no. You'll watch it with me, but you just you know. I like seeing people that came from nothing become basically gods. Like Hester's a god in it's, our eyes. It's crazy too how it's. I mean, how long's your career? Like the average career is what? Not even four years yeah, in the NFL. The average running back career is like two and a half years. That's crazy. So you make all this money. Like they're not coached on finances or any of this shit. So they're just balling out, and like it could be over. Like look at Johnny Knox, back injury. Done. Look at Tariq Cohen just retired. Yeah. But it's when you see these guys that, and they and obviously they get emotional about it because when you have a single mom raising you and she doesn't miss any games but she's working three jobs to keep the family going because there's no male i just want to know how they don't miss any games if they're working three jobs they well to to support them and then when they get famous you know they buy their moms the house and the car the tickets so it's the not she ain't working at three jobs when he's in the NFL. No, but no. I'm saying when, like... Well, when they're growing up. Yeah. Like, she would, you know... I, I can't ruin this Hester speech for you, but there is one part where he's like, even when you showed up at this, you know, in the second quarter, you still were at my games. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah. Like, seeing a parent support their children is because there's so many deadbeat parents. There's so many kids. I mean, and I'm not trying to, because I don't have kids, so I don't know this, but, like, if the boys, say if the boys played football, Mm -hmm. you guys would make such a fucking effort to get to those games no matter what. Well, when they were playing, I mean, when they were doing their travel ball. Yeah. They, one of us was always there, always. It had to be, yeah. And, like, I would come, like, I'd be at work, and their game would start, and, like, I would get there, yeah, like, the end of the game. Like, we... But you were there. We did it. We just, yeah. You you got there. And it's... It's sad to see, like... Especially, like, the... You know, single mom thing. Single mom, single Mm -hmm. mom. I mean, yeah, my stepdad, but whatever. If you... Say you played football and got to a level your mom would have been in every game oh yeah for sure and and it's a testament to them when your child gets into the highest level of football being a hall of famer there's 378 hall of famers and the fucking league's been around for over 100 years that's crazy Mm -hmm. 378 that is a <clears throat> that's even just the making the league is fucking yeah, hard. Yeah. There's 2,200 players in the league every year. Mm-hmm. And there's, I don't know how many ever on the practice squad, but just to get to that point is unbelievable. Yeah. We we're just talking with uh, Matt when we were watching baseball, just how, like you could be the top dog, like at your high school, your state, even. Yeah. But then there's such a level jump when you get to college, and then the yeah. pros. It's like <clears throat> there's so many kids that were like high school stars that just wash out. Yeah. Well, plus partying too and getting well, into trouble. And... Well, partying or you know injuries or anything like that. It's it. But when you see these guys that that was their life. The NFL was their life. And they, you'd look on this crowd and you're wearing your gold jacket and you got your fucking giant bronze bust of your head. Yeah. That's got to be such a cool fucking. Uh, it's It's got to be just one of those, holy shit, look what I did. What well, my shit mattered. Mm hmm. Like any Hall of Fame, like NBA, baseball, which. Fuck baseball's Hall of Fame. They're a bunch of assholes. Yeah, like, no one can get in what first, or no one gets 100% of the votes, or like, they won't let anyone it, in like it's, their it's, first year. It's, it's like what? just, yeah, they're like, like, like shit I look at, like, 
Just a bunch of like Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, and all these guys. Oh, they did steroids, so they don't deserve to be in there. Fuck you. But you they don't know who have, wasn't doing steroids. You still have to hit the motherfucking ball. Mm-hmm. You still have to get out there a hundred and fucking sixty. Well, how many of the pitchers were juiced up? Yeah. No one fucking talks about that. Roger Clemens should be a Hall of Famer. And mm-hmm. he's not. And he was the most dominant pitcher of his time. I hate baseball. <laughs> I, 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 but the respect I have for professional athletes because of what they do is insane because they give up so much to play a fucking game. They're that, yeah, you could work a 40 plus hour a week job and you could work your ass off, but you see your family every night. You go home, mm-hmm. you, you eat dinner with everybody. These motherfuckers are on the road. Just like, you know, shout out pro wrestling. (laughs) Those dudes are on the road. Fucking. They used to be on the road 300 days out of the year. You you wonder why marriages fail? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. You don't think, you don't think those wives are at home. like, oh, he's making great money, but uh, I I haven't seen. Do they though? I don't. Not back in the day. Now. Yeah. I feel like wrestlers were. Now they've. They make some money. They getting paid now. They getting some money. They getting paid. I mean, WWE just uh, WWE is gonna be on Netflix at the beginning of the year for Monday. Your You're gonna have to do it. I'm gonna stab you. I'm gonna stab nope. you. Nope. It's oh, in America. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an emo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't cut yourself, please. It's, but it's a pastime. There you go. Well, oh, yeah, it's it, it it's cool <laughs> seeing guys reach the pinnacle and guys that deserve it. <clears throat> Devin Hester not being a first ballot Hall of Famer is a fucking travesty. Yeah, but he you know they they kind of gatekeep it too. He was a special teamer, so it's like eh. he's legitimately the first non punter kicker special team guy in the Hall of Fame. Non punter kicker. <laughs> not punter kicker. So there, there is a punter, punter and there is a kicker on your team. And he's not a so punter special. kicker. He's not a punter kicker. He's not a punter he's a returner. Kicker. He's the first special teams player oh. in the Hall of Fame. Oh. And he, God damn it, I can't. Don't spoil you dare! It. You settle down. Settle your grits right now. Is that a saying? Settle your grits. You cool, cool your, cool your grits. I don't know. <laughs> Don't do that, because you're going to hide your face even more. No. All right, good. Perfect. Keep Come on now. I'm a professional, <laughs> sir. Yeah, we've been doing this 100 times. 2019. We just had our anniversary. Happy five-year anniversary. I mean, anniversary. we did take a shout-out. Happy. So Kayla, sweet. Kayla, grab oh. your cup. Happy five-year anniversary, guys. Well, which we did was, take a hiatus for. Which was a oh, day. What, almost two years? Yeah, was, which was a day after your guys' actual anniversary, which is happy anniversary to you guys as well. Thanks. One year, baby. Yep. We're doing it. We are. <laughs> We're doing it. How was that cake? Oh. Yeah, so we, uh, I don't, uh, that's a tradition. I didn't know not, nothing about weddings oh. and traditions. Um, yeah, so apparently you save your wedding cake, and then you uh, have some on your one-year anniversary. So uh, we did it. We did it. That's all I'm going to say. We did it. The video is uh, <laughs> priceless. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I had a bite. And then it went in the trash. So, I mean, whatever. So, full disclosure, we were supposed to uh, go to the races. Uh, my work <laughs> gave uh, a bunch of passes for the World of Outlaws at a local track by us. and uh, The sprint cars, right? With yeah. the big, the big funny wings, if you guys don't know what we're talking about. Um, and, uh, Redneck shit. <laughs> we have been getting straight up piss pounded with rain. The it's last so three weeks. Hence the reason why we have hummingbird-sized mosquitoes right now. I know. They're mm-hmm. so... Sean, I seriously... We were sitting outside and the mosquitoes came out. And I'm like, God damn it, I'm getting eaten alive. I stand up and I can feel them all on my legs. And so I just turned around. I had shorts on and I like lifted my shorts <laughs> up. And I was like, count how many fucking mosquito bites do I got? I think I have like nine oh, they're out on the back there. of my legs. They're thirsty. So Assholes. The house what a is, weird insect. Yeah. Survives on... It's a vampire. And it's a it flying just fucking vampire. Makes itch yeah. like a cunt. It's a cunty insect. It is. The so, rest of them, the ants, 
whatever, spiders, they all just fuck off. So we're getting the uh, house completely redone. New roof, new siding. Shout out to my uncle. Thank you very much. But um, they were, they started the back half of the roof on the house. They finished the garage roof. So they're on the back half of the house and they pulled all the, sh- had all the shingles off and they were getting ready to start putting down the paper or whatever they put next. I, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm not a roofer. <laughs> and you don't say that fucking rain just came in and fucking downpoured. It was and, bad. Like for what? 20 minutes, not even. Mm-hmm. And we're wiping water off of everything in the house because it just, oh we no. got pissed on so hard. And they had it almost covered, but there was like spots they obviously. Yeah. So thank, thank to those guys because they got it covered up quickly. But yeah, we were wiping off the top of the water heater. And Is this the wettest summer in history it, or what? It's just rain this entire well, summer. Well, think about it. The last like three summers we've had droughts. Well, so and have shit for rain. We were sitting at the pool today, and today's the first full pool day that I've been able to actually enjoy, like being in the water. Mm-hmm. And so we're sitting outside, and I like looked at everybody, and then I looked at my legs, and I was like, I have never been this fucking white this yeah. late in the summer. Yeah, you guys are. You both are normally Jeff, especially. You guys are both. I get my bronze on. Where you're, yeah. you're both like the most. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful <laughs> toasted bread ever <laughs> i like i just i was so sad i was like god i'm like winter like, white i legit winter i legit white. should have lost tan god, because like, i haven't been outside because like the days that it's been nice enough to sit outside it's it's been too hot to just sit outside mm-hmm but the water in the pool's been too cold for me to just want to like get in <sighs> or it's been raining Every day I've gotten off of work, I have fought the urge just to drive over here and just jump in the pool after well, get I get in. It, but yeah, but I'm talking about full jeans and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I did that when I was it. doing the, the garbage for a while. I just drenched. It's hot. It, it's but been, then I'd get in the AC. Yeah. Like yeah. What I've been doing now is just mowing the lawn in my swim trunks. <laughs> <laughs> and right then when after. I'm done, yes. I jump right in. But yeah, it's the neighbors enjoy it too. Oh, I bet. Especially that thirst trap across the street. Just eating Rod's pop- wife. Eating popcorn, just <laughs> looking at you. But it's so humid. It's so disgusting out. I hate that's hence the reason why I'll never move to Florida. But you know what? Okay. I hate the winter. So I'm well, taking yeah, this. I, I don't complain when it's hot ever. The only thing I just if there was like there's so much water. That when it rains now, it's just, it's not like going into the ground and being gone. Well, There's like fucking puddles everywhere. Yes. And like, so our front yard, the tree is growing moss on it. <laughs> Full on fucking moss. And then I go outside to the back deck this morning. Oh, my ear itches. And I look Skeeter, and skaters. the fucking rug is starting to turn green. We're growing moss on the fucking deck. <laughs> I'm like everything's just sopping wet constantly. Soaked. It's it's so thick. And, and I don't wear shorts at work because my legs get destroyed. I get cut. Like walking past the pallet with polycarbonate. That shit's sharp. Like I told yeah. I told like I told you on your on the paint thing I built you. It's like, hey man, just wash the edges because it's razor sharp. I've got nothing so far. Legit gouges out of my legs. Where I've cut the shit out of them. So you got it with a pantalones. So I wear jeans. I got home and I swear to you, I, was, I told you earlier, I looked like I pissed out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much sweat from my back, like it was halfway down my jeans. Like my pockets, actually, you can see on the pockets how much moisture was in. Yeah, I drank. I drank a gallon of water a day just because. You're supposed to. And by, I get to work at 5 a.m. by like 11.30, I'm like, oh, I guess I'm going to the bubbler to fill up the fucking bottle. Because that, yeah. I've already blown through a gallon. It's hot. The warehouse work is hot. But it's all right. Because 
As long as all the water happens in the summer. I don't want it to happen in the winter. Because then we get fucking 45 feet of snow. Uh, we'd have about eight feet right now. Yeah, we yeah. it would be this. blizzard conditions <laughs> right now. Well, shit's just like growing everywhere. Right here, this window well up here. like There's a tree growing out of yes. it. Yes, all of a yeah. sudden I was like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> it wasn't Fucking there tree, last man. time I looked. No, they're sprouting. Shout out to the guys oh, that took the it's... seven trees down in my yard too, by the way. Absolutely. I need them. You let them. I need them. I yeah. got their number. Okay, I need trees cut. They, uh, those boys went there and hammered that shit out quick. This loaf. Shout out to my neighbors. Cause they're the shit. But yeah, man, how, besides all that bullshit, you guys been good? We haven't, honestly, we've all, we've taken a mini vacation from kind of like hanging out. Yeah. Well, I, I, I had to, uh, well, we had Steve on and we just yeah. recorded a couple of podcasts and, uh, actually talked to someone the other day who does want to come on, but he's like, I can't follow that. He's like, yeah, <laughs> he's like maybe in a couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, I don't want to be the, the guest after, after that episode. And also with this being number 100, I kind of wanted us to, it to be us. Yeah. Shout out Steve. Thank you so much for coming on. Love you, brother. It was uh, like, it was interesting. <laughs> But, I mean, even afterwards, just, you know, we went out and got pizza. and It was it, a good time. It was. It, Steve is a good dude. Steve could, be, Steve could have been a real piece of shit. <laughs> and it, it, you listen to the story, he could have been a real. And Steve, Steve did good, and I'm, I'm proud of Steve. Yeah. Well, I think, too, because he came from such humble yeah. beginnings, you know, and he really instills that into his, uh, you know, well, his, I don't, I haven't met his daughter or his wife, but I know his son, he's really doing a good job of like, man, this is like, you know, he took him to his old house, his fucking shack. Like, look, this is where I came from, dude. Like, yeah. When he, when life you, ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Like you got to no, work for your shit. Steve's a hustler and, and we need more hustlers. That's, that's another thing is you've never seen, I, I read it today. It was, uh, you never hear a story of a privileged kid being a uh, superstar. It's usually guys that had to struggle and grind. And yes, there's guys like Christian McCaffrey or whatever that came from that lineage. But the dudes that had to bust ass to get anything always have the best story. Yeah. I mean, there's some, you know, old Donald Trump, 45, you know a small business loan from his father of like 15 million or something. <laughs> well, that's what was that? Uh, Anchorman two. My, my inheritance, my $300 million inheritance from my father, I've turned into $320 million. <laughs> <laughs> like congratulations. You haven't done shit. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, we really haven't been, been doing much just, uh, you know, Jeff put out probably the best pair of cleats I've ever fucking seen, though. Oh, They're thank so you. Good. Yeah, I got some exciting news coming up. Maybe. I don't want to say nothing yet, but uh, I may or may not have sent my shoes out to a pretty famous customizer. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's going pretty good so far. It's exciting. Exciting news. And more people are ordering, and that's awesome. Yeah. So we're just going to keep grinding on the shoes. I mean, I love it. Thank you, babe, for, you know, pushing me to... Do something. Yeah, I mean, I've always, <laughs> I've always liked art. Something. I've always been like talented, but I'm always like, ah, you know, you'll see something like, ah, oh, I'm not that good, or like, you know, you just like, you get down on yourself, like, ah, oh, like no one's gonna like this. Like, I like it, but no one's gonna like it, and you just gotta fucking, I guess, just try it. And I did it, and it's been fucking blowing up. So it's just nice to see you finally. Thank, thank both of you guys for. It's just nice to finally me. see you. Doing something with I had, talent. I had this. I had this <laughs> conversation earlier. It's like with be it a friendship or in a relationship, you gotta push the other person to be a better, to do more. You gotta mm -hmm. be their biggest fan. <laughs> no, you're, do no. better. No. Do better. <laughs> do no. better. Be no. better. <laughs> no, but but if they're an artist or if they're if anything, if, you know, you don't want to be their fucking anchor. You want to be their shove mm -hmm. and it's great 
it's honestly it's it's a great thing when I see anybody's and I'm you know how proud I am of you for all your the schooling shit and mm-hmm. all that. Thanks. That's <laughs> come on, man. You could have been a real piece of shit. Let's be honest. Oh no, for sure. <laughs> Well, that's still, like, still like you said, it's the, the, fence yeah, well, <laughs> the want is there, but the need is something different. <laughs> well, I feel like that's such, such a big thing in a relationship is, um, yeah, just pushing each other and being like respectful of each other. And like, we're in this together. I know yeah. there's so many couples that we know that just like degrade each other and they're just not happy and it's just it's so it's so weird to me like what we're like surrounded by it yeah and it's just so crazy to me like i want to do everything with you and like they just want to have space all the time though like i'm going to the bar you stay home or she's going out he stays home it's like fuck i want to do it no i want to do it together you want to be with the person you want to hang out with that person yeah Mm -hmm. If that's if I'm sorry, if your relationship is you don't want to be by that person, that's not a, that's a relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not good. It's because it's it's taxing. Mm-hmm. Ne- negative taxes the shit mm-hmm. out of you. Stress you, you when you're stressed to get home after work. That sucks. Yeah. Well, I just. Uh going back to the shoes a little bit i always there was this uh jim carrey who i fucking love ever since i was a little kid he used to copy all his lines and shit and he gave a great speech i don't know if that was a college or something but it always fucking stuck with me about how he talked about his dad and his dad was like the funniest person that he knew and his dad could have been a great comedian and he could have done so much more but he had a job and it was a safe job and he had to provide for his family. But then one day he was laid off from that safe job. And it's like, you could fail at something that's mm-hmm. safe. So you might as well just try something that you actually want to do and fail at that. Like, why not try it and fail? Mm-hmm. Like, fuck so, it. Did you talk to your mom after they went and saw the uh, comedy show? Yes. My mom goes to me and goes, they were funny, but you and Jeff are way funnier. <laughs> well, and, maybe they're just start. Like, I, I was like, dude, first of all, they're at a shithole bar. Well, all yeah. right. And they're probably just starting out and they're trying new material. So, like, yeah. I get yeah. it. Like, yeah, but it's, it's one of those ones not too. It's going to be all home runs. No, not at all. Watch Kill Tony, and you can see a lot of <laughs> you can see a lot but of. But that's misses. the thing we kind of talked about it with Steve is the, the small town thinking. Like I'm in a small town, it's not going to happen for me. Like he left and he did crazy wild shit. He experienced stuff. Yeah. And like I feel like people just get stuck in this rut. Like I'm just going to stay in this small town. I'm going to get this factory job, and then they spend their later time in life you know when they get the 40 45 50 they got wife you, a bunch you, of kids it's like talking i can't directly to me except for the wife and a bunch of well, kids well no i'm just saying like <laughs> son I just, of a bitch they, uh, <laughs> damn it you know you get to that point and you're like well now it is maybe too late but it's, it's like never too late yeah i'm fucking 40 painting shoes in my basement like just fucking do it i don't know like I said, it's it's but it's that small ones. town mindset i think it's one of those a ones where of it. when she said that to me, I, I actually sat down and I picked up the pen and paper again, started writing. And our stories, we have multiple. We got millions of stories, it feels like, that all are hilarious of just true to light. And What's the ice? Oh yeah, I didn't. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. And, <laughs> and I think with this, this is this podcast is. I'll, I'll be wide open with it. This podcast has fucking helped me out so much because I get to come over here and just spew my bullshit. <laughs> A little get, therapy session. It is. It's. <laughs> it is because when we weren't doing it, mm. like when we first started doing it every week, I'm like, yes, I have something to look forward to. Hang out with the boys shoot the shit, record some shit, throw it on the fucking internet and see what happens. 
when we didn't have it, it was, I was fine. I was doing all right. But then I'm like, man, I'm missing something. Mm. There's something missing. And it, then it started, you know, getting filled with shit that it shouldn't have been getting filled mm-hmm. with. It was getting filled with, you know, fucking, hey, let's have about 45 of these fuckers and <laughs> have a good time. But I'm drinking beer today because I earned it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a victory beer. Victory beer. Well, yeah. I feel like this kind of, in a way, is, I feel a lot of podcasts who they always say um, the biggest thing you can do is just, consistency yeah and it's kind of like working out like if Mm -hmm. you're working out like it sucks in the beginning and you just do it and do it and pretty soon it's just a part of you Mm -hmm. even like i mean tonight i ain't even gonna lie we're laying on the couch i'm like i don't know if i want to do this (laughs) i'm so fucking tired but i'm like we gotta just we gotta do this well in full disclosure that was on me this time it was on me well Well, it was on on us us because because we should have done this last night but uh we got too tuned up at the bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Which, that hot ass bar. Good. <laughs> yeah. My God. I was just standing so, there dripping so sweat. So Kayla FaceTimes me and I'm just waiting <laughs> on them because they went out with their friends. I went out with a friend and I got home. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just going to wait till they're ready to go. Do the and then Kayla FaceTimes me from the bar. She's like, come out. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> There's not a chance I'm driving out to Lake Geneva. Well, cause and we, it was 3000 degrees out and thick. Yeah. Well, so we went over for dinner, um, to our friends out there. <laughs> that was all, that's what it was supposed to be. But, and uh, yeah, so we didn't eat a whole lot. Mm-mm. I feel like because more people showed up than what they thought were going to show up. And so there just wasn't like a whole lot. And then everybody started drinking. So we were going to get pizza. We didn't, whatever. Um, and so I was in leggings and a t-shirt because we were inside in the air conditioning. Mm. So everybody ends up leaving. Jeff's like, Hey, you want to go out to fat cats? See Manis. Shout out Mike Manis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on the podcast, Dick. He wants to. Yeah. He's he waiting. Wants to. He's like, he's we just... got to figure it out. We don't got to figure out shit. Just what? tell us when you're available. <laughs> During the week. During the week, he's available. Okay. Well, we'll do a Wednesday special. I have no problem with doing it. Just, yeah. just get it done. I was going to say, otherwise, just before he goes to DJ, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. He yeah, so we go- it's, it's weird. We have a studio. We can record whenever. Right. We <laughs> whenever. Wherever. But yeah, we go to We're fucking meant to be together. Cats. Easy, Dude. Shakira. I'll they- be there, and you'll be here. Fat Cats has That's a, the deal. Uh, My dear. Garage door <laughs> yeah. now. Which, when did they put that in? I feel like that was there, just closed. But they should have oh. just closed it and turned the but AC But they had on. it fucking open. Oh, it was so hot. Holy shit. I just started sweating. I was just standing there. The, legitimately, you sent the FaceTime and you were glistening. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm good. I was di- <laughs> I was in leggings. As I have, Dead. As I have the air conditioning blowing and the fan blowing as well. I'm yeah. sure they had a pair of scissors. We could have. I like those leggings. I don't want to cut that. Could have had some leggings, biker shorts. I could have just taken them off and just had a shirt dress. Donald Duck in it? Just a shirt (laughs) dress. (laughs) There were some interesting girls that came in there, man. It's Lake Geneva. Well, there were a couple of bachelorette parties. 50 year old, two 50 year old, or was that just one? No, they were both those two. 50? Yeah. Same birthday party. Mm -hmm. But two, yeah, 50 year old ladies. I did did not think they were 50. Shout out to them. But also, I feel like since I'm getting older. Drinking that Lake Geneva water. It's like the fountain of youth. Jesus Christ. Or the Botox. And <laughs> Definitely multiple, Botox. Multiple plastic you know, surgeries. I got beef with Botox. Because what happens, what happens when you stop getting Botox? Your face falls apart. Well, okay, for real. Like, That's I can get I'm... Botox for this. My fucking judging face that I make. Yeah, but... Then you lose all your charm. Yeah. Well, what character. happens? What happens when I okay, I get Botox, so that's gone. And then I decide to not get Botox, you know, five years later. Well, that's why I once it doesn't pop- just come back with a fucking vengeance. Oh, I'm sure it does. Your whole face just, just drops out. <laughs> like, why do that to yourself? Because you want to be beautiful forever. You know, you know what makes a person beautiful? The light inside. Well, it's not that's... fair. It's a sick and twisted game. I feel like uh <laughs> I mean, you've even said it before, like men age 
very distinguishedly. Like, we don't care. We got the wrinkles, the gray hair. Well, it's just totally different for women. It is. Well, women are just judged so much. Harsher. Harsher, yeah. Like, we're Well, that's why they get the Botox and they fucking everything. keep it going. Yeah, no. But if you're married, who gives a fuck? If I your husband, if your husband loves you for what you are and every wrinkle, yeah, but you still want to look for any stretch mark, everything. Who gives a fuck? It's you're going it's home. All this. You're going. <laughs> you're going home. You're going home to that. I'll tell you, you don't give a fuck. Everyone at the Wisconsin State Fair. <laughs> Shout out cholesterol. Woo. No. <laughs> Diabetes. Diabetes. That is a diabetes. Wilford Brimley in the house. <laughs> he would have a grabber if he saw what was going on at that uh, fucking state All fair. fairs, though. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Dude, uh, when I go to a fair, like, I want that freshly squeezed, sugared up lemonade. It's the best lemonade on the planet. The foot-long fucking corn dogs. I want a funnel oh. cake with ice cream on it. Now we're talking. Well, talk, let's, talk let's, let's be honest. It's, a, it's only a six-inch corn dog, but they say it's a foot long. <laughs> <laughs> It's a foot long. Corn you, dog. You've been thinking it's a foot long for the last eleven years. <laughs> Sean, Three Sean, and a half fuck inches, up, dude. You're fucking ruined. Don't ruin this for me. Jesus, <laughs> I got a good oh. thing going here, Sean. <laughs> God damn it! I'm just saying, when I go to the like fair, I just want like the shittiest food. Did you see? Obviously, it was fake, but they had a foot long hot dog sheet. It was a twelve by twelve. <laughs> <laughs> What did I just miss? <laughs> well, you know, they got the 12 inch foot long. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's just a sheet, <laughs> a hot dog sheet, sheet, and it's 12 inches by 12 inches. <laughs> so it's a. It's just basically a, a fucking floor tile. It's a floor <laughs> tile, but it's a hot dog. <laughs> Why? It wasn't real. And if it is, what <laughs> the fuck? It's at the fair next year. Holla at your boy. I'm coming for you, fucking. Well, that's tile dog. That's the funny thing <laughs> about like America. Period. Like every baseball park, every year they have like the reveal of the new. Yeah, and it's something that you're just like, what the f- dude? That's ninety three thousand calories in that one. Well, <clears throat> so you, the state fair this year, they have um, different flavors of cream puffs. They had them. They've had them for a while. Really? Yeah. Oh, they had root beer yesterday. Oh. <sighs> No. Right, that's why we got the original. If you're going to get a cream puff, you go with the original. Just like if you go with a cheese, if you're going to get a cheese curd, you go with an original cheese curd, like a, a good deep fried cheese curd. You don't go with, I mean, you can, after you've had, if you've never had, this, this is if you've never had before. You go with the original first, then you try All the, the other bullshit. weird shit, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. These Believe are me. people who've had it every year. And they yeah. just want to spice it up. Some and what happens? They try it and go, oh, gross. Mm. <laughs> Give me a regular and one. And then it's not back the next year. That's yeah. like me with cheesecake. Like, I want just regular. plain cheesecake. I love plain cheesecake. And I always try other cheesecake. And I still don't like it as much as plain cheesecake. I'm going to tell you right now, plain cheesecake with either a scoop of cherries or a scoop of strawberries on it, a little of whipped cream, yeah, that's a... Mm. That's a tasty treat. <laughs> I just want plain cheesecake. Uh, I can't get into the cheesecake. I don't know why. What? I don't know. It's just so weird. I've had a, like a chocolate chip cheesecake was really yeah, good. Yeah, that's why I can't get into it. Yeah, no. See, I like the cheesecake with the graham cracker crust. If it has like the chocolate mm-hmm. crust, mm-hmm. it's too much. You need like the New York style. The New York style, which is just so the... Good. What's that famous one in Chicago? Eli's. That's it. They got so, good shit. So good. Their turtle cheesecake is a banger. I ain't gonna lie to you. Dude, nope, this plain is, cheesecake. Give me this whole podcast. Cheesecake. I hope you're fucking already ate before you listen to this. <laughs> it's all right. You know, I hated listening to like Joe Rogan in the truck when I was driving, just starving. And they'd have some food guy on there just talking about steak. And I'm like, fuck, I'm starving. <laughs> I, I'm talking about food too because I am officially the lightest I've been in 10 years. Nice. Damn. Because I sweat out. So much water this week. <laughs> I was at fighting weight, and yeah. I haven't been that low in a long time. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I got to get awesome. down there. I'm probably the second or third fattest I've ever been. Fat Island's fun, though. It's, it's comfortable. right where I've been sitting for the last... You just stay right there, honey. 
Like I was fucking I, ten years. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna throw on a sauna shirt and you know sweat out a little bit, work out a little bit. Got home, stepped on the scale. I'm like, I ain't sweating shit out. I need to drink water. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> fucking brown piss. Oh, shit. oh. <laughs> coming out like coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jesus. Yeah, when I was doing the garbage shit, chucking uh, yard waste bales, I was drinking tons of water, and the shit was coming out like oil. <laughs> And, oh yeah, and unfortunately, dehydrated. And unfortunately, you know, Gatorade's not a hydration drink. I don't care what they say. No, it's not. It's well, it's it, not. Uh, well, if you're if you're out and like like when you were doing the garbage shit, when you're out sweating that much, yeah, you can have some Gatorade. It's well, it's you, good for you. It's all that fucking sodium. The, it the keeps electrolytes. All, yeah. But if you're out doing that, get a Pedialyte instead. All you need is sugar, sugar, or sugar, salt. Jesus Christ, you need salt. You need salt bombs. To you need salt, sugar. Ah, Jesus, <laughs> I just glitched. Just snort it. Get anyone out there and just snort some salt. There's It'll a glitch good. in the matrix. Well, because salt makes you retain water. Don't snort salt. Yeah, don't do that. No, just stick to, co- stick to the Coke. You'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah, keep that's doing how your you, coke. Yeah, that's how you keep those skinny Sorry. little bodies. Sorry, energy powder. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So thin and fit, I can <laughs> climb that tree. Jesus. The crackheads in the tree. Ah, fuck this tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's meth. Sorry. Oh, now you're getting it all. Is crocodile still a thing or what? I Remember that so. was that yeah. was around for a while? Just melting your skin. They just couldn't help it. They just loved it. Never seen the crocodile? It was basically they were getting gangrene. Mm. And their skin's just from, melting off their needles. fucking body. Oh God! It's yeah. I just wonder. It's a real thing. How good is that high then? It has to be amazing. Like if you're just willing to sacrifice your. You got to be floating on, you know, a bed full of puppy ears. (laughs) Have you ever seen the people who like get arrested like multiple times and like oh the mug shots yes and it just gets crackier as they go along it's fucking wild it's methier like a lot of them good looking people they just fuck yeah it's shit, nice. dude my favorite I, dude at work is like he goes i fell in the rabbit hole of looking at uh prison pen pails <laughs> the women's prison pen pails yeah and so the women in prison yeah okay and he's like some of them are really attractive, and then you look at what they've done, and it's like she's in jail for life for triple homicide. <laughs> she's like, a, she's a ten anywhere, you know. She's yeah. Complete. Well, what they do, I don't know. I always triple found homicide. So what did they do? No, what the, did the, those people do? Why did she murder them? Because she was on a eight day meth bender. And I'm just fucking saying. Thought they were fucking demons. Stabbed the guy two hundred times. Well, she was high as shit. Yeah. I mean, that's not her when she's sober. Shout out, shout out to the Meth Olympics from uh, what was that? The, uh, the Onion Sports Report. <laughs> meth Olympics. <laughs> that was a great show. I missed that show. There's a lot of shows. Sports I miss. Dome. Remember Sports yeah, Dome? That was yeah. Love it. Shout out. That's Onion like uh, what sports was that dome. movie? Uh, the second goon. It was Sports Desk. Sports. Talk about sports at a desk. <laughs> Sports desk, we're all pink on the I inside. I always find it fascinating. We were just talking about the convicts, about the women who just, I mean, like Ted Bundy. Didn't he get married or something while he was in prison or some weird? I can fix him. Is that what it is? What do you think? Yeah, can we get a woman's perspective? I don't know because I don't have a fascination with. I mean, they it's love those murder mystery murder. shows. It's like, it's... Oh, yeah. No, I love those shows. But I'm intrigued. Like, I want to know what's going on in their heads. How did they get there? Yeah. Like, I want to know what. But you're not writing them a letter in jail. Like, I want to blow you. No, I would write them a letter to try to see why they did what they did. But not like. That's the inquisitive mind. That's not the, oh, he's really hot. I should really uh, take a look at him and. Yeah. Like, I I could fix him. I don't know. I don't know what that obsession is. Well, that's why they love bad boys. It's like the girl that's always like, I need to find a good man. It's like, well, quit dating assholes. Yes. Well, see, I, as somebody that did that, um, it's, yeah, well, that's, that's all I did. It, I just did it assholes. At the beginning, it's all sunshines and rainbows. But there was no sunshine and rainbows. Until they got their throat around your neck. 
<laughs> and then you're like, oh, Jesus. They're throwed around. Uh, yes, How do you get the throat around I don't, the back? I love, I love when he talks sometimes <laughs> and he says shit like Come that. Here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is that? Didn't that fucking? Who was that? Theo Vaughn was talking about the guy with no arms that tried to choke the guy out. <laughs> he was using his neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. it would make sense then. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know women's Have obsession you, with these dudes. I, I don't. Saw a picture of a guy that had no arms, but he had a fucking gun in his belt. How are you gonna pull the gun with this foot <laughs> out of your belt? Yeah, I don't you gotta know. have some real dexterity. Yeah, here. he's probably a yoga instructor. Oh, I don't have an. Oh, God, I can't get my leg up there. I was gonna try it, but I was gonna use my arm. Yeah, <laughs> and I, was like, I don't have arms. <laughs> it's not gonna work. I have no legs. Oh my God. What's the movie, Jeff? I have no legs. Yeah. Um, all I can think of. Uh, don't worry, it's just me, Casper. No, that's not the movie I'm yes, thinking it, of. But it is that movie. I have no. legs. God, what the hell is that movie I'm thinking of? I'm thinking of Can't Kid. Hardly Wait. Can't Hardly Wait. I Have No Legs. I Have No Legs! <laughs> no, I was thinking of Kids. That's with, a fucked up. With the guy on the skateboard. That movie just turned like 35 years old. Aww. Have you ever seen Kids? No. It's wild. You will be so sad at the end of it that movie. It is so sad. I don't want to see it now. <laughs> I catch I, it's song. hard. It's hard to describe to someone. It just you realize like three of the actors, four of the actors from that movie are dead. Wow. No, I just know Rosario Dawson's the only one. Now who I'm sad before big. the no, movie. The, the the other Jenny, I can't think of what her name was. Uh, fuck, it's it's, it's yeah, you can't she was in her a, name, but she was in a bunch of movies though. Too. Was she? Yeah. I just know Rosario Dawson. But uh, oh, Casper, dead. The dude from Next Friday. Skateboard uh, Roach was his name on Next Friday. Okay. Uh, Harold Hunter, the black dude who was a pro skater, actual pro skater, he's gone. And uh, one other guy from the movie. I can't Jesus. think of who it is. Yeah, it's wild. I don't It's a wild movie. Know. If you haven't seen it. This is fucking depressing! <laughs> yeah, go watch it and get more depressing. I don't want to watch it. You don't need to. Do you guys sell this dick? I do not know what you're saying. What is it? <laughs> this dick, motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, it's so wild. I haven't seen it. Fuck, man. I probably haven't seen that movie in 15 years. You haven't seen longer. that movie since you were 15? <laughs> I'm trying to do math. Fuck. It's hard. <laughs> well, that's another thing. Is like we think, oh, that truck's like 20 years old. No, that truck's like 40 years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking about my vehicle that I have outside. It's like a 07. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. Like uh, That's older than the boys. Yeah, this is an old truck. That is. Even like when we listened, so we were growing up in the 90s, the oldies station was 70s. Like now, I, the uh, 90s is even older than like technically the 70s when we were in the 90s. It's fucking wild. I just go back to Space Pants when she's like, you want to hear this throwback song? <laughs> no, I, no, I love... I love oldies, is what she said. Right? Yeah. Love, yeah. It was some shit, and she fucking played boots with the fur. I said, this bitch. I looked directly at Kayla. It ain't even the oldies, that bitch. Was the, I think that was maybe your first time you ever felt old. I looked directly yes. at I, I Yes, go, it was, because I got real confused. I looked you, I looked you dead in the eye. I said, throwback, huh? <laughs> I was like, I'm still jamming to this. What do you mean, throwback? I, I go, how, <laughs> how, you how, throwback? How, you, how you feel it? Old, old as fuck. God damn it, space pants. That's I hope you're doing great, space pants. Oh, she's probably got like five kids by at now. At least. A no. couple, a couple at coat least hangers. Herpes. Well, she probably had that at that time. Oh, yeah, that was. Shout out to uh, episode, what, four? <laughs> I think it was space, space pants, pants. Maybe nine, I think. Was it episode nine? Fucking space pants. If you don't know, go back. Go back in the time machine. Yeah. That's before we even did the YouTube. <laughs> no, we did it, but there was no uh, video. Yeah, I mean, it's up there, yeah, but before we started filming the YouTube. Yeah. Good times, that guys. 100. 100 episodes. That's and crazy. it's, and it's, this is all, this is how it's always been. It's us spewing our mental diarrhea out onto a microphone, basically. Yeah, so strap in, fuckers. But there's some people that like it, makes them laugh a little bit. Well, it's... Get a little chuckle. The whole point 
even when we started this, and I say it all the time, is we want it to be like you were sitting with your buddies drinking beers and having a conversation. I was just joking with one of the girls yesterday at work, one of our CNAs. I love her. Um, and we were talking about something, and I was, I don't know what was said, but I was like, yeah, no, I'm a total degenerate outside of work. And she goes, oh, I know. I listen to your podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it's, it, you know, honestly, it, it makes me laugh when people are like, oh, so what are you talking about this week on the podcast? I'm like, you listen? Like, yeah. One of my higher ups in the company is like, oh, so how's the podcast going? I'm like, good. He goes, oh, yeah. What are you talking about this week? <laughs> I go, uh, you might want to listen to these. This is an R view, especially the last two before. <laughs> this is an R view on life. It's our buddy's view. And that's, um, I, that's what I, we, we want people, we want people to like, be like shocked yet laugh yet question everything kind of deal yeah totally i question what i do daily Me too. hourly speaking of we are at that hour point are we uh-huh. time flies when you're having fun right i just want to say i uh, think mama's been on the whole time i think so too well she, she might got be down sleeping for a little bit. standing up <laughs> so the idea of this podcast came out of jeff and i driving home from DJ and, and just shooting the shit and like, man, we really need to record this. Yeah, because we got and some it, pretty and it and it we would say it every week for like a year straight before finally we just sat down and it's like, all right, we're fucking doing it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it. And like I said before, let's just fucking just fucking do it. And let's I see what happens. And why not? I will say this on Friday. Thank you. Cause this has been so much fucking fun. There's so much more to come. I was going to say, it sounds like you're doing like a... No, I'm, I'm not going to say This is our last no, one. No, I'm just... I'm proud of us for hitting the 100 episode mark. It's a good milestone. Ca- yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care if we... You know, UFC hit UFC 100. And we're like, that's wild. There's 100 episodes. You know, 100 Yeah, now UFCs. they're on what, 305? Yeah, 308. God, that's Jesus. crazy. And we've seen all those together. Most of them, yeah. How you doing? Well, some of them suck, so I didn't yeah. buy them. But no, I'm talking about the 100, 200, 300. Yeah, all the big ones. So, and Kayla, you have been a welcome addition. Thanks. Well, we get the latest point of view. But and listen, I'm but, but let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Kayla's more of a dude than some of the people <laughs> we've had on here. Because <laughs> Kayla's just as much of a smart ass and an asshole as we are and well, jeff's not much of an asshole jeff's jeff's a fucking high-end asshole the biggest he's go fuck like, yourselves like, <laughs> see that's not being an ass but it's that's not the definition an asshole is like yes i'm an asshole but i'm an asshole with a heart jeff jeff is the comedic asshole mm-hmm. he's he's going to just kneecap you out of nowhere and laugh. How dare you? No, it's not a how dare you. That's <laughs> what it is. The sarcastic asshole. Yeah. And, yeah. Get and Kayla's box. our estrogen-fueled... Just an asshole. Asshole. Oh, honey. We, we've asshole. got the Gen X asshole, the fucking uh, Zennial asshole, and the fucking... I was say, technically, we're both millennials. No, he's a Zennial. Uh, Look at he's so sad. I'm he's so sad. sad. Uh, I'm still, like, no, just you're, into you're my a, core. You're a Zennial, dude. You're in between X and millennial. Oh, my God. These cats. These I cats. Sent that, say I goodbye, sent that clip to you, that, that TikTok to you, and be like, holy fuck, it's Jeff. I know. I did watch it, too. I was like, oh, it is. <laughs> was he hot with a big dick? I have no idea. Okay. But Kayla will show it to you because it's <laughs> on there. But, okay. yeah. So, with that being said, folks, thank you all for listening to The Gentleman's Den. Thank you all. Go to Instagram. Check out Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 for all of the exciting shit that Jeff's doing. While you're on Instagram, go over and follow Lady of the Pod underscore TGD and see what Kayla's putting out. Also on TikTok as well. If you like dogs, you will see a shitload of them. Yeah. <laughs> and as for me, Small Town Infamous on Instagram and on TikTok as well as TGD Sean. 
Thank you all very much. Uh, we'll be back next week with another fun-filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Fucking A, here's to 100. <laughs> Cheers, fuckers.